Hi everyone, Rachel here from Déjà Vu Thrifting. Bonjour tout le monde. I uh, decided to go to Mission Thrift Store uh, today. There's uh, been, I mean, we had a storm, not a big one, but just a good amount of snow and it's still snowing today. So hopefully the store won't be too busy and I'll be able to find some good stuff. And today I believe they have the uh, red tag 50% off and yellow tag 25% off. And then, I mean, it's Tuesday, so I still get my 25% discount as a senior. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's a good deal for me. I love being over 60, I get all these deals. <laughs> so we'll go in and check out what we can find. Allons-y. I love the way they display the discount, these huge banners. <laughs> Oh, this is strange. A plastic beer cup glued to a glass foot. Oh, they have some nice cups here. La vie passe, le chocolat réconforte. So it says, life goes on, chocolate helps, I guess. I like this one for myself. It's only 99 cents. I should get it. Oh, it's English on the other side. Life happens, chocolate helps. Of course it does. It's a woman thing. Chocolate is everything. Let's keep that for myself. Any other mugs? This one is very nice. Dream big in gold. Also 99 cents. That's a nice ceramic mug. What's in there? Is that a some sort of a stain or oh no, it's just a fluff. I think I'll grab that one as well. Now this bird basket is lovely all painted usually it's brown like the one next to it but this one is very different for $2.99 animal baskets do well I've uh, sold many of them before and this one there's no holes or anything this one is is different I've never seen one like this yeah I'm excited about this one let's put that in the cart This basket is very odd. It's fabric that's just like gathered around the top and bottom edge with wooden handles and a mesh bottom. What on earth would you put in it? Hmm. Now we have frames here of all sorts. Oh, I see one that I like. It's a very cera uh, heavy ceramic, but for $11.99, it's a little too steep for me. But beside it, this, I sold something similar to that with teddy bears. It's vintage and if, yeah, that's what it is. It's Victorian type of cutouts to put pictures in it. That's very nice. And it has the uh, ribbon. Now, what does it say? 1997, so it is vintage. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put that in the cart because I know it can do well. Oh, it was 39.95 originally, so it just goes to show. Now here's our famous wall of mugs at 99 cents. I love that wall. <laughs> These are cute ones with raspberries. Raspberries are my favorite fruit. Oh, so good. This is modern, very sweet. Oh, it's not raspberries, it's grapes on the other side. Mm. Oh, 
what else do we have here? Oh, these are nice. What does it say? Poppy July. And the other one. They both have a, a gold uh, rim. One has got yellow poppies. This one is daffodil, daffodil, yeah, for March for the daffodil, so yeah, we'll take those as well. Oh, there's a pumpkin one here. That's very sweet. I don't think it's vintage, though. I'm the wife of the retired guy. <laughs> That's cute. Here's one. It's like a federal glass. That's a cute mug. World's greatest grandpa. 1980. So that's good. I can't read the back. Is glass something? Now these wheat pattern three tone mugs are made in Taiwan. I know I've seen this pattern before and it sells well. They are in very nice condition and if the sticker is on the handles, hmm, thinking. So I decided uh, to pull them all out. They all have the sticker on the handles, which means they've never been used. So I'm definitely taking those. They are in great condition. There we go. That's a good find. Now this is the Laurentian Tundra uh, mug, well, there's several of them I see, and I have the matching um, tumblers or wine goblets. And uh, yeah, yeah, those are really nice. There's a little defect here, it's a manufacturer's defect. There are a stain inside, but that can be easily fixed with lemon juice and uh, baking soda. Little candle holders. This is nice. Oh, I like that at the bottom. They're frosted glass. 99 cents each. Wow. And then it's the 25%. Let's take a look closer to those. About those. Well, check all the little points. Uh, yeah, there's some roughness there. So there's a little chip. We'll put those back. Now this is funny. This is really cute during the summertime. Put a little tea light and it's in great condition. It's from Diane Artwear. Hmm. That's sweet. Now this wooden carved um, coaster holder and look at those coasts, they're very nice, very nice work. However, I only see three, so that's sad. Those uh, ceramic wood trivets, I've had a couple still in my inventory. Oh, this is strange. Oh, it's a wine opener, screwdriver. It says Cave de Tour Eiffel, so it's like made in France, I would think. 
I've seen those before. I can't recall what kind of wood. Let's get that. Put it safely here. Nah, over here. These owl are very cheap lacquered platters. Now we'll go and do the uh, dishes and glass aisles. These are lovely. This is a very nice ceramic uh, platter for a cake. However, this is all ribbon, which I find not very practical for $8. Hmm. Here we have carafes and beer mugs, barware of all sorts. Oh, look at this. This is different. They're very tall, skinny glass with looks like copper. Deep. I'm not quite sure it is. One forty-nine each. This one is very similar but seems to be in a tiny bit better condition i find the handles are sharp but see this one it has a lot of uh, patina or damage of some sort so we'll put those back that's a big heavy one There's some coasters here Look like Pimpernel, Montreal Canadian hockey glasses. Yay! <laughs> yes, I love my Montreal Canadian hockey team. These bar glasses are nice. They have gold numbers. They're 99 cents. Red tag means 50 cents each, but the numbers there's two, three, six, and seven. Yeah. A lot of numbers missing. Up here is Festibière. That's the um, beer festival in uh, the province of Quebec. Corona beer glasses. Now this is a very nice daffodil teapot with gold trim. It's in very good condition. There's kind of a little bit of a glue residue around the edge. But the spout is in good condition. The gold seems to be intact on the handle as well. $3.99, that's good. That's FCE Longport Bone China. I really like this one. I think it would do well. So let's pop that in. Now these dish sets are modern, but they were made to look a little older. This one as well, I think. Yeah, as soon as it says dishwasher, you can, you can f see that it's not really vintage. These are very nice as well. So we have sugar bowls and oh, this is a cute little napkin holder with a rooster. $1.99. Looks like it's vintage. That's so sweet. Someone who has a farm decor or uh, country, or even at the cottage, it's so nice. So I think I'm gonna take that and put it. Now I found the matching creamer, but I look on the shelf and I cannot find the sugar bowl. So I think I'll put it in the cart and oh, whoa, 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 phew. That was close. And uh, we'll keep looking for the sugar bowl.
That's a cute set as well. Two forty nine each. Let's peel and see what's underneath. With one hand, nothing. Okay. Uh, this trivet intrigues me, but um, it's modern. So is this, this is nice. This is too small to be a, a soup bowl. Hmm. It's uh, from Port Portugal, hand painted, number 532. It's very nice. It seems to be in very nice condition. Only thing is that it's missing the ladle. Oops, here we go. It's missing the ladle. I'll be... Uh, I'll have to think about that one. I'll have to think. I may come back to it. Now here are a few cutlery pieces. And there's some knives that are interesting here. Definitely vintage. It's stainless steel, but I can't see the maker. My eyes are failing me. Nevertheless, they're uh, they're different vintage. I'm gonna grab those. I don't think they're bakelite, but still, put that over here. These there's only two of them. Now this is interesting. These little forks. I don't know if they're Bakelite, those two, but they're definitely vintage. I really like them. They're probably uh, appetizer forks, maybe? There's only three uh, teeth on them. Look at that, the swirl, very nice, very nice. So by now you probably know that I don't buy much clothing pieces. However, I always look for nice vintage t-shirts, sorry, this one is definitely one. It is single stitch, as you can see. It is from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and it says Maintien le droit, which means we keep uh, law and order, in other words, and it is um, in fairly good condition. So, some people like that stuff. And I'm willing to take a chance on this. The price is good too, so I'll grab that. If I find more, I'll let you know. Now, the little bit of furniture they have. Uh, I just saw this sign, Chicks Rules. Of course they do. All men know that. All men know that. <laughs> but this is what I really want to take a look at. Look at this beautiful vintage table, $80. Wow. So we are now in the little boutique area. And this beautiful piece of blown glass just attracted me. Look at the craftsmanship on the handles. What a beautiful vase. It has like an a aubergine to clear gradient and it's very nice. There's a pontal mark. I'm definitely going to grab that. It's not clear because it's, it's dirty. It's simply a good wash will do. It's some good. No cracks or anything. It's fantastic that it survived. I'll grab that carefully. Now there's other things here that I like this, uh, but it's more modern and not that heavy for the size. This one, what a great centerpiece. I love this. It's almost like a leopard print. Absolutely gorgeous candle holder. 
nice conversation piece for sure. It's just glue residue from a sticker. Yeah, very, very nice. Let's take this baby, and it's very heavy too. And it's, it's yellow tag, so that's even better. My cart is getting full. So I thought that these ladies walking away <laughs> were picking in my cart. <laughs> they were just wondering, I guess, if I was taking the teapot. Anyways, let's keep going. Now this is very lovely as well. I like that it's like in motion. But there is a chip right at the tip of her coat. That's too bad. These fish, I like these fish. $5.99. I know they're modern, but I'm sure someone who has a coastal decor would appreciate that. This, oh, the sticker says $1.99. But the blue tag says $5.99. Huh, interesting. Um, I think I will put that in my cart and see what they say at the cash. What if? What if I get it for $1.99? Let's check this one. Oh, no, they took the old ticker, <laughs> sticker out. Let, let's grab that and see what they say at the cash. Stay tuned. And another little window display case there's a couple of nice pieces here and um, this is a strange picture a very strange and then this big thing look at that look at the size of my hand beside it it's it's the soup bowl and it's intact except for all the chips on the flowers everywhere almost every petal has a chip that's too bad and it's hard to grab to lift the ladles there it's just uh, too damaged and how much Woo! 29 99 will pass so I was on my way to the cash, and then these Barbies were right there. So I looked at them. I am in no way a Barbie connoisseur. Not at all. And I'm trying to see in the back here, what if it's a vintage one? My eyes. I'm so old. Okay, we'll zoom that. Mattel, 1966. What does this one say? The other one said China, so yeah. And this one, 1966 Philippines. So I doubt very much they're through. I see this beautiful print of a sleeping baby. Very nice. Oh, it's a Betsy Peace Gutman. She's an American artist. That's a beautiful piece beautiful baby and I think the frame is true vintage the price $2.99 oh my god yeah look at the back definitely vintage even got the rope <laughs> wow yeah I'm definitely gonna take that I know she is an American artist, but I'll look up for more information uh, and uh, share it with you in the hall. Okay, I came back from the cold and the snow, and this is my very large haul from this week's shopping trip. 
And I'll start by this one, which I'm gonna keep for myself, this cute little mug here, French and English, that says that life's hap life happens, but chocolate helps, and yes, it does. <laughs> this here is a um, federal glass from a glass bake. It is vintage from 1980, and with uh, Father's Day coming up in June, it would be very uh, uh, appropriate for Grandpa, the world's greatest grandpa. He might like that with some chocolate in there or a bag of coffee. Here we have the four mugs that I purchased that are part of the Laurentian Tundra uh, pottery line. And I like it, it's so different. It has like a textured 2D effect. So uh, they will match with the two wine goblets that I have already for sale on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. I have uh, this cute mac, uh, mug, sorry, and uh, it just simply says dream big in gold with a uh, tartan background. So this is really nice and I believe, yeah, it's from Indigo. These four mugs here are brand new. The stickers are all on the handle still, and they are made in Taiwan. It's the tri-color wheat pattern. See here it says Taiwan. And uh, I saw online there is a whole, a whole set. There's the teapot also that is uh, sold in the same pattern. So uh, I don't have it, but I sure will look for it because that would be nice uh, to complete. Here we have a two uh, coffee cups, one here for the month whoops, of July. It's uh, yellow poppies, and this one are daffodil for March. The rim is uh, like a speckled gold effect, and the glaze is almost like a mother of pearl. I don't know if the camera can show it, but uh, they are both in very good condition and vintage. And I was not able to find the uh, sugar bowl. I did find a creamer that matched this one, but since I couldn't find a sugar bowl, I decided to uh, leave it there, and I just picked up that one. But I think it's a cute uh, decor for anyone at, at the cottage or farmhouse, or anyone that collects uh, roosters. It's a nice, nice piece. This, I went to the cash, and if you saw in the video, the tag says $5.99. However, the sticker said $1.99. So I went to the cash, and the lady was very nice, and she said, we have no choice but to give it to you for the lower price. And I said, yes, thank you. <laughs> so I kept that. So it is a modern piece, but I do believe some people who have coastal uh, decor would uh, like this piece. We have this piece of, seems to be driftwood, but it's not. It, and it comes from Les Caves de la Tour Eiffel, which are like the grottos or the, the caves of the Eiffel Tower. It is a corkscrew bottle opener. And this old piece of wood is actually a very old uh, grapevine. So it is made with that in France. So that, um, definitely is going to be a good item for Etsy. This is uh, the cutest thing and with uh, the summer coming up uh, it's going to be I think something that people might enjoy. It's a tea light holder and it's a summer sandals. has a cute little bling bling right there on the rose. Everything is intact. There's no chips or anything. It says rosy tozy. That's really sweet. This beautiful towering piece is a candle holder. I fell in love with it. If my decor permitted, I would keep it because I love leopard print. But uh, it's not exactly leopard print, but it looks like it, I find. It's very, very nice, very tall. It's, I believe, about 14 inches, I'd say. And this piece here, it is vintage it is blown glass there's the pontal mark there like i showed in the video and i had a great deal on that it was 9.99 but 50 percent so i got it for five dollars and 
I'm just amazed at that this none of those little um, doodahs on the side have broken. Like it's all in one piece and it's a nice gradient uh, blown glass piece vase. We have this basket that I absolutely love. It's so cute. And with uh, Easter in a couple of months, I think it would be a nice addition to any uh, decor or centerpiece with some uh, colored eggs in it. Very lovely. The uh, Golden Memories Victorian Photograph Album made of uh, thick cardboard. There's a lot of inserts uh, to put all kinds of beautiful pictures. And it is, yeah, it was retailed at $39.95. It is from 19, where's the first page? <laughs> I saw it earlier, but it is from the 1997. So it is considered vintage. There's ribbon here on the side to tie the page. The only thing is that it has a sticker glue residue there, which I don't dare taking out fear of damaging uh, the uh, the paper cardboard here uh, the, the, on the front. So I'll let the buyer deal with that. These wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I thought by uh, looking at the back and I'm not I'm not a Barbie connoisseur, okay? So don't don't send me hate messages please. <laughs> But uh, it says here, uh, Mattel, 1966. This one says Philippine. This one says the same thing, but China. And um, I found out that the body might say 1966, but it because uh, the heads, uh, the shape and the look of the heads, they're actually from the 80s, and they used the uh, body mold of the 60s, which uh, that's why they have to put 66 in the back, but they're actually from the 80s. So I'll look more online to find out the value of them, but if it's not much, that's not a loss because I'll just keep them here and my granddaughters can uh, play with them when they come to visit. This uh, vintage t-shirt, I didn't mind paying, uh, you know, $7, but it's minus uh, yellow tax or minus 25%. It is from Penman Classics. It's a large adult, and it is single stitch right there, see? Uh, and I think, you know, it's not a rock band vintage t-shirt that everyone go, woohoo, you know? It is from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and I think that some people uh, might actually enjoy this. It is a true vintage t-shirt. So we'll see how it does uh, online. And the last two pieces here that I got are these uh, utensils. They are both vintage. And this set of six knives uh, is made by uh, Westall Richardson. It is stainless steel blade. Uh, I do believe the handle might be Bakelite, but I will be doing the test. There's a, a cleaner that you can buy. I, it's called 409, and if you rub on that with a Q-tip, if the Q-tip uh, turns out black, then this is Bakelite. There is another test by rubbing the, the, the plastic really hard for a period of time until the plastic gets hot and then it, it emits some sort of a weird smell. But I'd rather uh, do it with the cleaner, which I will go buy some, to uh, confirm. I would hate to, buy, to list that and have a buyer uh, think it's Bakelite and it's not. So, and that goes both ways. So we'll uh, figure this one out. Same situation with this. I'm not sure if it is Bakelite, although I think these are more Bakelite than these. <laughs> and we have a, a knife here, and it is made by Marvel, and it is stainless steel as well, as well as these three prawn forks. There's a set of six. So that too will be tested. Last but not least is this beautiful print of a baby sleeping look at the nice curly black hair and those cute little pudgy pink cheeks 
and uh, the artist is Bessie Peace Gutman and she's a, an American artist and she was uh, really drawing a lot of babies sleeping or holding teddy bears. She was drawing a lot of toddlers as well. She's well known for that. Uh, she also illustrated uh, the uh, book Alice in Wonderland in 1905, I want to say, or 1909. So she uh, was born in the late 1870-something, and she uh, passed away in 1960. So this, uh, these prints are, um, some collectors really like those, and especially people who uh, like vintage um, frames with the prints. This one is a true vintage frame, it's wood, and uh, the back here, you can see all little nails and the rope, and yeah, definitely something from, I would say, between 1930, 1940. So I am uh, looking forward to see uh, the comps online for that, and that will definitely be going on my Etsy shop and uh, eBay, but most probably on, on Etsy. And all of this will be listed very shortly. A couple of pieces are already listed. If you are a new viewer and you like this content, please subscribe. And if you want to write a comment below, I would love that. I always try to answer all of my comments. Also stay tuned because next week you'll see a video of the estate sale that I went to uh, this past weekend. So that's it for today. Stay safe, everyone. À la prochaine, tout le monde.